Hey YouTube, it's Brian here, and I thought I'd do an unboxing video today. Something that I don't do a ton anymore on my channel, but <clears throat> every so often there's a few products that I think are worthy of doing a video on, and this is one of them. Um, a company called Pleco Ceramics sent me um, some free samples of their products, um, things that I could use in my aquarium and test out to see if I like them. So I thought I would show them to you um, before I took them out of the packaging and then also once they're in the aquarium and what I think of them. So um, let's go ahead and open the box and, and uh, I'll show you what, uh, what we've got. All right, so we've got a few different products here. We've got something called cichlid stones, something called aquarium caves, and something called tree trunk caves. And then I'm not sure what this one is. I'm just this is another tree trunk, it looks like. Anyway, well, let's start with the tree trunk caves. Um, this is made of ceramic. <clears throat> it would be good for hiding for small fish, for plecos, pleco breeding, that type of thing. Uh, looks pretty realistic, in my opinion. Looks like a good piece of uh, a good piece of decoration, quality built. Um, don't see anything wrong with it. Um, I would give it a thumbs up uh, with my uh, initial impression. Here's another one. As you can see, these have holes for aquatic life to swim inward and outward um, all over the piece. Um, these both look real nice. And I, I, think, uh, I think they're a quality product. For me, I don't breed plecos. But for me, um, I do grow out cichlids uh, that I've bred. And these would probably work really well in a, one of two tanks that I've got right now. Um, one is a, um, a, a Hadiensis <clears throat> grow out tank where they're, you know, like two to three inches and they'll easily fit in here. And they like to look for hiding spots. Or else, <clears throat> I've got a Red Devil grow out tank right now, um, where again, they would fit in here no problem. So let's check out the aquarium ca cave. And this is the gray colored one. So this one's actually wrapped up. Let me see if I can get it. <clears throat> again, this company is called Pleco Ceramics. And they sell on Amazon from what I understand. Also, they were wondering if I wanted to carry my pro carry their product. So, if um, if this is something you'd be interested in purchasing, let me know, and I'll start uh, carrying it on AquaticSupportSystems.com. So, this is uh, one of the aquarium qu caves in gray. You can see again, good for uh, pleco breeding. Let's take out this one. I would assume it's going to be the same thing in brown, and yes, it is. Uh, would also be good for what I had said before um, in cichlid grow out tanks. Um, pretty realistic. It looks like, you know, part of a tree, flat on the bottom, um, holes for fish to swim in and out of. Real nice. And then the last product here are the cichlid stones. And these are going to be more for like an African cichlid tank, I would say. Got this nice looking stone here, although it could be used for American cichlids uh, in the grow out stage, like I've been talking about all these. Could also be used for plecos. And these are both basically the same, same one, yeah, for the most part. Real nice ceramic, um, sturdy, they seem to be, and real nice. So. I'll get some close-ups of these, but um, my initial thoughts, and I know they have more products, but my initial thoughts of these is that they're nice looking, 
quality made, and they would serve a purpose in an aquarium um, with having a more natural look compared to using flower pots and um, some of the pleco breeding caves that are just like those square tubes or round tubes that don't really look natural. If you're into a tank that maybe you want scaped a little bit more, these things I think would be a real good option and something that you might want to look into. Um, so again, pleco ceramics. Um, I'm not sure if they have a website, but I know that they sell on Amazon. And again, if you're interested in something like this uh, and think it would be something good for me to carry on the AquaticSupportSystems.com website, let me know. Put a comment down below, and I'll look into. I know I know they sent me their wholesale price list, so um, we'll see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give you some close-ups of these now, and then I will uh, put them in the tanks that they're going to go into, and I'll show you what they look like in those tanks. All right, so we're going to just do some close-ups of these uh, caves from Pleco Ceramics. Um, this is the, uh, which one was this called again? I'm going to grab the box. Tree trunk cave, both of these two right here. So here's a little bit close up uh, so you can kind of see how it looks. Looks pretty authentic to me. And again, this is not wood, this is made of, all these are made of ceramic. This one's really cool too. These are the aquarium caves then. I got one in brown and one in gray. These are the exact same shape flat bottom, nice space inside, and then the cichlid caves, these are going to go in my Mabuna tank I believe, this would be real nice for possibly breeding or holding females to um, hide out in, that type of thing, but again, um, really nicely constructed I, I think um, real nice look to them and definitely something that I would use in my tanks and uh, yeah pretty cool so let's go ahead and get these in some tanks and then I'll show you um, what they look like in the water okay so we're looking right now at my Hadeensis cichlid grow out tank. Um, as you can see, I already had some flower pots and, and rocks and stuff like that in here for um, to have hides for these guys. But I went ahead and added two of the aquarium caves, both colors. You can see one guy is checking it out over here already. And I had seen a, a fish swimming inside of it. Oh, you might be able to see him right there. Not sure. But they look good, they look natural. Push them down into the substrate a little bit. They've got bubbles on them now because they were just put into the tank. But uh, I think they look real good. Apologize for the, uh, the glass, there's permanent marks on here. I gotta take some vinegar to that. But anyway, um, I, think, uh, I think these look great in, a, in an aquarium, either color, the gray or the, the brown. And uh, I'm gonna use them in this tank. Okay, we're looking at my Red Devil grow out tank right now. And um, like any ceramic that you put in um, to a tank when it's new, it kind of bubbles a little bit. But I've got uh, these uh, tree trunk caves in here. And um, judging by the size of the fish, they'll, they'll do real good with these uh, as far as, you know, for a place to hide and stuff like that. I think, again, they look pretty good and pretty natural in here. Probably would be better served if I pushed them down a little bit into the substrate, but um, at any rate, I think they they look good. Uh, they're big enough for um, the holes uh, for the fish to get in are big enough for these fish um, until they get to a decent size. And the fish are skittish because I'm in front of the tank, so you're not even seeing them now. I'm just going to put a little fish food in and get them out just so you can see what size fish that I'm using or that, that I'm using these caves for. That food should get them out here. 
maybe not. I just had my hands in there putting these tree trunks in and then I'm sitting right in front of the tank with the camera, which is something they're not really used to. So that didn't turn out like I had hoped, but maybe they'll start to kind of come out now that this food's all sunk down into the substrate. Anyway, though, these are red devils in here, and they range from, you know, one and a half up to four inches in size. So, um, obviously, you've got some alphas in there that are chasing around the smaller ones, and these would be great hides for the smaller ones. But even, you know, some of the bigger fish could fit in there if they wanted to, and... Um, you know, without any problems. Some of them are hiding back here, if you can see them, just to kind of give you a little bit of an idea on the size of fish that I'm thinking that these would be good for. But I won't waste any, any more of your time waiting for the fish to come out. Um, just wanted to show you how they look in an aquarium and how they kind of match. I've got real rocks in there that I collected myself and I'd say that they match nicely with those. As soon as I walk away all these fish are going to come out and eat that food but anyway I'll show you the uh, cichlid caves that I put in my uh, Mabuna tank and then we'll end this video. All right, so this is the Mabuna tank, and you can see it's it's fully stocked. There's 30 or more Mabuna in here. If you're new to cichlids, Mabunas are a type of African cichlid from Lake uh, Malawi in Africa. And in this tank, I've already got a 3D background with some 3D rocks from Universal Rocks. And I added these caves, and I think they go along pretty nice with, with um, the decor. Um, similar in color. You can see one right there. And then another one over here. I may place, um, there's a lot of kind of breeding activity down in this little crevice down there. You can see there's a fish down there. I may place one of them back there. Um, although I won't be able to see it, um, I think it's a good place that uh, some, some of the fish might be wanting um, a space to be able to uh, do their thing, if you know what I mean. But um, yeah, I think they go along good with this decor. They go along good with any decor um, when it comes to cichlids. You can see there's uh, some activity. There's already fish going in and out of this one right here. But uh, yeah, they seem to like it. They're curious. There's a holding female ready to go in. There's There comes a male out. So, um, yeah, I'd be curious to know if they, um, if they make bigger ones of these, uh, they would be really nice to have possibly a bigger size, but at any rate, um, check it out. Um, Pleco Ceramics, if you're new to my channel, AquaticSupportSystems.com is my website. Um, if you're new to this channel and you want to um, see more videos like this. Um, I also do South American cichlids like you probably saw in the background at the beginning of this video. Um, I do dwarf shrimp and I do uh, marine, I have two marine tanks with corals and fish. Uh, so if you're interested in any of those types of things, please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, the notification bell so that you know every time I put up a new video. And uh, if you're interested in purchasing fish food, uh, go to AquaticSupportSystems.com and check that out. Um, and until next time, thanks for watching.